Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's already March, but I'm doing my unboxing for Fairy Loot for an adult NYA box in March. I am actually filming on the 8th of March because that's when the YA box came in and yesterday on the 7th I received the adult book box. So don't blame me, blame uh, Fairy Loot about the delays. Uh, I, I understand why they got so many boxes to send over, but, but I must say that it's a mixed bag. Some months I receive a book box relatively soon, other months they don't come basically until the month next. So I'm gonna start with the um, adult book box and then we're gonna go into the YA box because they just have items in it basically. So as you can see I've not opened it at all. I'm gonna struggle for a second if you allow. Okay it's happening. Ouch. Paper. Voyage, a voyage of chaos. I'm not spoiling myself, I'm looking the other way, I promise. And then we've got the book, which is okay, black pages. So, this is what it looks like. I am assuming I might, might not know what it's about, and I am oh, exciting. You saw it before me, actually. The Adventures of Amina Al Sirafi by Shannon Chakaborty. I think she wrote something else. She wrote something else. I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, okay. I remember what it was. We've got the amazing stunning cover. We've got amazing pages. I'm gonna go out of camera, so it just focuses on these because it's worth it. I love it so much. Look at this. I filmed a haul recently and I was saying, you know, how much I loved sprayed pages. So, yeah, Fairy Loot, Fairy Loot gets me all the time. This is the stunning back and this is the spine. Honestly, it's amazing. Everything about this is amazing. And then inside we've got an amazing map. I'm saying amazing a lot of times. I might not. Look at this. This is the naked hardback show you oh wow remove gently gently the cover it seems like zodiac reminds me of a zodiac i don't know why i'm in love with this spine then inside we've got beautiful and pages it's like this and the back is like this stunning breathtaking So from the premise, it seems that this is the story about this pirate, pirates, how you say the female version of pirates. She's a pirate, okay? She is though now retired after having a thousand of adventures. Now she's retired, she's living comfortably, she's a mother, and she's left her outlaw days uh, behind. However, there is an offer that's made to her of a job that no true bandit could ever say no to so she goes back to old crew and just say let's go on this one last journey together and this will likely make her a legend and assure that her family will have good fortune many years down the line yeah there is the risk that you know in order to become a legend you have to give up your soul i don't know if this is i guess it's a fantasy because it's fairly loose so it must be like incorporating a lot of elements of fantasy and i i am sure she wrote something else something pretty famous as well and at this moment i just can't think of what it was i honestly will try to read this in march the reality is i've got such a big tbr i'm not sure i can but hopefully finger crossed finger crossed and then we've got the wine box oh it's just arrived today so when i came home from work and there is snow because of course it snows in march in london we get we'll get that guys it was waiting for me i didn't finish that sentence again okay i hope i can already see a mug this is what i'm looking at right now and so there's a mug which we're gonna open in a second. There is a pendant, which usually I don't really use much, but we're gonna open it for sure. There is a stunning, stunning book sleeve, and I love the fact that, is that a book sleeve? This is not a book sleeve ever. This is just a case. 
The stars incline us, they do not bind us by Chloe Kong. But it's a lovely gaze. I'm always looking for those, so that's useful. And then we've got the spoiler card. I am promise I'm looking the other way. This is the book. We're going to open it in a second. Oh, look at this print. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. And I think this is from the um, Once Upon a Broken Heart. Oh my God, I'm screaming. This is so lovely. I probably found my next journal cover. Like, look at this. Absolutely perfection. And then we got the tarot cards. So I'm gonna drop the box. Done. Oh, love the um, dark color palette. So these are the tarot card of the month. Got this one first. And then got this one. And no, I have absolutely no idea who's who. This is two of stars and ace of stars. No idea. I, I'm assuming they might be from the book for last month, which unfortunately I didn't get around to read, but I'm not sure. Let's open up the um, pendant and the mug before I go into the book. So the pendant, this is what it looks like. You can see it probably before me. Yep, light. Oh, it's a tree. Snow oak pendant. I'm not, the, I'm not the biggest fan, I'll be really honest. I think when it comes down to jewelry, because of course I have to say within, you know, the um, budget, the jewelry look cheap. And last time they gave me a pendant, I actually liked the design, it broke the next day. So not the biggest fan of the pendant, it does look nice, but I wish we just stayed clear of uh, jewelry. But the mug, the mug I'm very, very excited about. Yes, 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 yes. Mugs are, like, I love mugs. I've had to stop drinking hot chocolate in the afternoon because it was putting me to sleep. Um, so I've reduced my intake of hot chocolate significantly, I'd say. Is it everything a struggle today? Another day, another struggle, as Biggie used to say. I'm ready. Oh, sorry. I'm ready for it. Okay, I have no idea who they are. I'm gonna go out of camera so it focuses on the um, characters on the mug. So here they are. Now, let me be a bit of a bitch um, today. I love the mug, however, I this is very similar color scheme wise and i think they had like two or three characters as well as the last mug they gave us so if i put next to each other from afar you can't even tell the difference of the mug and it's exactly the same color scheme like it was dark gray and black with golden embroideries on top so i wish they had done something different than the last mug they gave us i also don't know who this guys are on it but i'll find out and now let's open the book shall we i probably won't know what this book is about <laughs> okay i love the uh, pages we've got uh we've got character arts inside so i'm going to show you first of all we've got the fairy scoop inside morally gray is the theme the next month theme for the ya box is eternal and then we've got the letter of the author and the card so yeah let's open finally this book shall we so the pages are like these oh we've got i'm sorry <laughs> i keep buying time to got the um, bookmark and this is the back and it's a cd from the back and the front these are the pages these are the pages and this is the front City of Nightmares. Welcome to the City of Nightmares by Rebecca Schaffer. I have no idea. I, I think I might know of her. I think she wrote um, 
not even bones. It's a new vibe for a fairy lit book. It looks very modern, very uh, sci-fi. Uh, yeah, I don't know, very sci-fi in a sense, or like dystopian. And there are dinosaurs over there, so I'm not sure. So I'm actually excited about these because again, the look is very refreshing for fairy lit. It's signed and loving these. And I'm gonna find the synopsis in a second. But first of all, but first of all, oh, okay, very good. Okay, I'm listening. It looks okay. It reminds me a bit of Jurassic Park. That's the vibe that gives me. And I just saw this in the back, and I think I'm right. Like it does shout Jurassic Park. This is the spine, lovely spine. And this is the front. And yes, I think I'm gonna display these probably naked without a dust cover probably this way because it's a dinosaur on a book cover right and then we've got the inside pages yeah oh hello don't mind me so what is this about though Okay, I've read the synopsis and it's quite complex, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try my best. It's been a, such a long day. I apologize, but I'll try my best. So this takes place in this world where your nightmares can actually, when you, upon you waking up, transform you into monsters. And the sister of our main protagonist, she has been transformed into like a man-eater spider, and she has destroyed and caused a lot of chaos in this city. So she woke up as a spider and basically killed a lot of people. So, you know, the sister is very infamous. Our main protagonist, she is trying now to not end up like the sister. Now, I have no idea how this nightmare works and who gets picked to become a monster, who doesn't. Sorry, I touched the camera and moved. But anyway, I was saying that her best chance at survival is to actually join this organization called Restful Soul. And she actually thinks that there might be a cult. And she has to perform a job for them in order to get in. But that job becomes very, very messy and she gets in a lot of trouble. I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, I'm actually very curious to read this. It's not too long as well, so I'm gonna try and prioritize this in March if I can and read this because I'm super curious. So yeah, let's look at the spot, the card and the item. It gives me like a Padrino <laughs> 1920s vibe, but with dinosaurs, like a mashup of a Padrino and Jurassic Park just gave me just gave me vibes and ideas of a story. So let's go back to this. We got a foiled mug, which is actually a um, ceramic mug, Poppy, Castile and Kieran from the Blood and Nash series. I've not read that one, I bought I own it. So they are Poppy, Kieran and Castile. I'm watching the last season of Supernatural and so when I read Castile, for me it's Castile. <laughs> anyway, the mug is from Blood and Nash. These are uh, the case, the uh, pencil case is uh, featuring like a quote from these Violin Delights, which I've not read. But I love this pencil case and actually I'm gonna put these uh, to good use. Yes, these are Jack and Evangeline for, from um, Once Upon a Broken Heart. I love these, probably they are the, this one and the case are my favorite items. This necklace is inspired by a pendant mentioned in the Black Witch Chronicles by Laurie forest. I don't know anything about the book. And the tarot cards is inspired by, by, by Spice Road. Yes, I thought about that. So uh, last month's book was Spice Road and so these tarot cards are inspired by the protagonist of that book. So if I have to sum it up, Fairy Loot has reduced the item from 5 to 4 and most months uh, I've been like, so happy with all items. This month, I think I love two items. So the art print and the case. The mug is okay, but definitely probably my least favorite that I've received from Fairloot thus far. And the pendant, I'm not the biggest fan. I think it looks like, yeah, it looks like a cheap jewelry. Say that, I'm not a big fan of jewelry. I know I'm sporting necklaces, but these are like gifts from people I love that I want to keep in because they remind me of the people that gifted to me. And I'm not saying this because I only accept or wear expensive jewelry at all, but those necklaces just, you know, if you just do this for a few times with those necklaces, they usually come apart. That's why I'm not the biggest fan of this kind of, um, necklaces at all. But overall I'm so excited about the book and I did love like half of the items at least, which is good enough for me. 
for this month. So yeah, let me know if you heard of these two books. They look stunning. I'm so happy about them. Let me know um, if you've read them, if you like them, or if you're excited about reading them. No spoilers because I've not read them as of now. But yeah, looking really much forward to reading both soon, hopefully. If you're new, I would love for you to subscribe. I do try to open up my fairy loot as soon as I come in. Again, sometimes I can't decide <laughs> if they're late or not. But yeah, I'll see you next time. Take care of yourself, guys. Ciao!